Hey, good morning everyone. I thought that I would spend some time today creating a new video. And the topics for today's video are going to be around um, the wardrobe HUD and some sort of general stuff with wardrobe, I guess in general. <laughs> um, but uh, really what I want to talk about, the most important thing I want to talk about today is how to add your own custom uh, animation poses to the wardrobe HUD. So um, in order to do that I want to start fresh. So I'm here at the CTS main store and I'm going to grab a redelivery. If you ever need to replace your wardrobe, check to make sure you've got the most recent version or if you're just having some script errors with it and you want to grab a new one, you can always come here and grab one. The nice thing about wardrobe is that really for the most part, everything is up on the server, and so you can grab um, a redelivery without too much fear of losing anything. Um, all right, so here I'm at the redelivery station. I'll go ahead and click on that and click the wardrobe button and get the new wardrobe. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and head back to, uh, let's go back to my house. So I'll go ahead and go home. And I'll take my handy dandy teleporter up to my wardrobe working area and we'll set up up here. Okay, so what I want to do today is show everybody how to go through and um, work with uh, adding custom poses to wardrobe. Uh, so let me go ahead and detach this version of wardrobe that I have right here. Uh, while we're doing it, let's let's look at this feature just so people can see it. So in your wardrobe HUD, there's this hamburger menu, uh, which is what the three lines stacked on top of each other is called. Uh, so if I click on that, I can go to the setup option. And in the setup option, you can choose to use RLV to lock or unlock your HUD. Uh, and as long as it's locked, uh, it won't detach. So it'll be locked on you. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it so I can detach this version of it. Uh, but if you want to make sure your wardrobe HUD is always on, that's a good way to do it. All right, let me go ahead and open up my inventory and I'm going to go to my recent here and I'm going to grab my box and go ahead and res it. Okay, and just so people know, the box here says wardrobe version 2.5. But if I click to open it, you'll see that the actual HUD that's inside of it is 2.5.3, and the closet itself is version 2.5. All right, so I've got all this here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that to my inventory, and I'll go into the box. Okay, so I've got my new wardrobe HUD here, and what I want to do is I want to add um, custom animations poses to this HUD. Now the reason I started doing this originally was that I wanted to make sure that every picture I took for wardrobe uh, of myself used the exact same pose. So it always looked the same. To me, the consistency of it was very important. When I was using wardrobe previously, I would use sort of whatever pose came up first in the list or whatever seemed to fit right. And all the pictures and everything about it looked very inconsistent. And that sort of bothered me. <laughs> um, and so I, I went through and started doing, doing this method. Uh, so let's talk about how to do this and the implications of it. So I'm going to start by taking my wardrobe HUD. Instead of adding it, I'm actually going to drag it to the ground. And it's going to res on the ground. And you're going to get all these error messages, and that's OK. So we'll just ignore all those. I'm going to zoom in on this really close. So this is what the HUD actually looks like on the ground. Um, and let me just say no to any of these prompts that come up. All right, I'm going to right click on my HUD. I'm going to choose edit and I'm going to go to my contents tab. And if you look in the contents tab, you can see all of these different poses that make up the default pose set. For this process, you can keep these or you can get rid of them. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I get rid of them because I don't like having to look through all of them. So what I'm going to do for this demonstration is actually come in here. I'm going to grab all of these poses. I'm holding down the control key on my keyboard. Uh, you can also hold down your shift key and select more of them. 
use your control and your shift key or just click them all um, slowly here. And make sure what you're getting is just the poses. Look for the little pose icon. Verify that you don't have any of the scripts. You just have the poses. And I'm going to right click and choose delete. Choose OK. All right, so now I've got a HUD with no poses in it at all, completely empty. Uh, and the HUD will still work, you just won't be able to pose yourself. Now, let me come over here to my poses. This folder is in the wrong spot. We're going to move that there. That's neither here nor there, though. Um, all right, so here are all of my poses uh, done up by uh, the, pers the store that makes them. And I want to go ahead and add um, some poses into this HUD that I'm going to use. And for our purposes today, it doesn't really matter what I use, so I'm going to go ahead and choose... Um, let me see if I can find one that's got... Here we go. So this one here, here's these poses from City, or pardon me, from OO Studios, um, and it's called City. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab these. I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of the poses that are not mirrors. And these are copyable poses, so I can drag them in easily. I'm going to take them here, I'm going to select them all, drag them, and I'm going to bring them over to the Contents tab and drop them in. I could also drop them right on the HUD, but when you want to add objects into another object, you need to hold down your Control key. Notice how this cube turns uh, orange, the outline of it turns orange when I hold down the Control key. That means I'm in Drop mode. Yellow is Edit mode. Um, uh, orange is this drop mode. So I hold on uh, that, I can drop them in there, and you'll can see that they get added. Okay. All right, so now I've got my poses in there. I've got just the ones that I want. I'm going to go ahead and right click, and I'm going to take my HUD. All right, so I'm back here, and here's the old HUD that we had, and here's the new HUD. Now you'll notice that once we resed it out and we added our stuff and took it back in, it's now no copy, no mod, no transfer, and before it was full perm. And this is because the scripts in it are no mod and the poses are not transferable, and I'm not exactly sure where the no copy comes from, but probably one of the scripts. So these permissions change when you res it out, and that's okay. Uh, we can always start over again really easily. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and, and add this wardrobe HUD uh, like I would normally. Now, I've got those poses in there, and so now if I want to use them, I can click these two arrows here, and it's going to pose just using those animations. And I can cycle through them here, around to my front here. So it's going through and looking at just those poses. And now it's just the ones that I want. So if I want to always have the same pose, and we'll look at my default wardrobe HUD here um, before we finish the video, and you can see that I usually just have two or three poses in there. I think I might have maybe four. I'm not sure, but um, I, I always use the same one. And so I like having just a very small number of poses so it's easy to cycle through them. So a nice thing about having just these few poses in here um, is that you can use these arrows to pose anywhere. You don't need to res your pose stand. So you'll notice I have my big photo studio over here, big white area. So if I want to, I can come in here. I don't have to res out a stand. I can just come in here, click my pose, and take my picture. Really quick, really easy. Without ever having to res out a stand. But let's talk about what happens when we do res the pose stand out. All right, so if I come in here and I want to res a pose stand, I click on this icon here on the HUD that's got the person uh, posing, and it reses out a stand, and I get this box up here, which asks me, what poses do I want to add to this pose stand? All poses, female poses, male poses, or no poses. Um, now, these options assume that you have all of the default poses in the HUD but we don't have them in the HUD anymore. The poses that go into your pose stand come from your HUD. So once you start customizing the poses in here, when you res a pose stand, you want to choose all poses. Now, I'm going to go ahead and right click and edit my pose stand here quick. And if we look at the content, you will see 
it's got those poses that I added to my HUD. So whatever's in your HUD is what's going to end up in your pose stand. Now I can sit on my pose stand, and it's going to have those same poses that I put in there. So now no matter what I choose, whether it's the pose stand or whether it's the arrows, I'm getting the same set of poses each time. And to me, this is a fantastic way to make your own customized pose HUD that allows you to pose anywhere you go. You don't need a stand. Uh, so if you're at um, an event and you're wanting to take a look and see what an output looks like without moving around so much, you're trying on demos, you can um, use that to pose. Pretty neat. Uh, so that, that's the main thing I want to talk about today. I think I'm going to do a separate video where we talk about uh, the wardrobe closet um, and, and leave this one just talking about uh, this one topic, which is, is adding uh, custom poses to your pose stand. Uh, if you have any questions about this, do let me know. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward process, and it's one I think that works very well. Um, and if you have poses that you like to use, this is a great way to get in and use them. Uh, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please uh, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more information about uh, CTS wardrobe and inventory management and Second Life in general. Uh, lots of new things coming around, so I think we'll have uh, lots of new videos coming up soon. Uh, until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.